friends, uh, I am back after a month. You might be wondering where I have been. There was a request by one of the subscribers that I should come back to YouTube. Actually, there is too much uh, work, my own academic work, I have to prepare for talks at conferences. So I am back again as promised with my bookshelf. You know, I have been taking a book from the bookshelf and talking to you. Uh, today I am going to introduce you to a book which is a must read for mathematics lovers. It is called Mathematics for Millions by Lancelot Hogben, uh, gifted to me by a very dear friend. Uh, and uh, this book is not only for those who uh, are afraid of mathematics or they wanting to learn mathematics. It's also for those who are actually mathematicians even. You know, you might be wondering that, okay, I might understand many concepts and I know I understand everything absolutely fine. But I know many students, if I ask them suddenly, tell me what is the difference between the measure of degree and measure of radian. Because angles are measured in these two units. And then you will immediately observe that people will start fumbling. Right. Now, once that kind of issue comes, it's very important that time to time you should go back to your fundamentals and look at the concept and this book exactly does that. If I have some doubt in my concepts, I will go back to the fundamentals. It tells you the stories from the very beginning of how mathematics developed, how geometry and trigonometry helped us to know about the world around us. It first gave us a feeling that the world around us is knowable, it's measurable and you know, calculating the radius of the earth, how Euclid brought in the power of geometry, how Archimedes uh, computed the area of the circle and pi was discovered how the how newton and I, newton spur got us into this whole story of the geometry of motion and and also it starts from the very basic goes to calculus and into probabilities let me just review the contents of this book and you would be surprised about the names of the contents the contents are first is prologue the prologue is about the race between tortoise and achilles so the uh, when achilles race the tortoise keeps on going it is there's a kind of zenos paradox suppose i have to go one kilometer so first i'll go half a kilometer then i'll go so i'll remaining half is there then i'll go another half a kilometer then remaining half is there and so i'll keep on doing it and i'll never reach the end that's what zeno thought that no motion is possible but actually in a so-called infinite steps can be taken in finite time and that is why motion was possible and that is exactly related to the notion of convergence of series. So look at the chapters. Mathematics in remote antiquity. The grammar of size, order and shape. Grammar, it's a taxonomy. The numbers, etc. That number, shapes, that we name of the shapes that we have defined in mathematics. Euclid as a springboard. Euclid as somebody who really organized and gave us a form of mathematics that we still use today. I have been telling this to you for so many times. Number load in antiquity. The rise and decline of the Alexandrian culture. Alexandria is the city, the library of Alexandria, which is a university where big savants, including Euclid, had once uh, been teaching and studying. The dawn of nothing, which is the story of algebra. The mathematics for mariners. Nowadays, you have GPS. Nowadays, you have satellites which navigate flights, navigate uh, ships in the ocean. But in those days, when the ship was the only way to travel between one country to another, trade was done by ships. How did the mariners know what was their latitude and longitude? That mathematics is beautifully explained here. Have you ever thought about triangle on a sphere, a spherical triangle? But spherical triangle is real. If you understand spherical triangles, possibly you will understand non-Euclidean geometry, which is the geometry needed for uh, studying physics, relativity theory, general relativity. Logarithms and the search of series, how lo the notion of logarithm is deeply linked to the notion of infinite series, the calculus of Newton and Leibniz, the algebra of the chessboard means basically it's story of the matrices and basically linear algebra in some sense and algebra of choice and chance. Now I'll just show you it's filled with pictures like this. How, how are you figuring out latitude, longitudes or it's filled with maybe how do you calculate the radius of the earth. It's filled with things like that. Spherical triangle, the star triangle, there is some this is something called the star triangle. So this is the great selling triangle. These are the ones 
this is the chapter from the mathematics for mariners and so and so forth so there are, it's so what kind of mathematics the military had used in those days to fight warfare so these are the things which would keep you occupied and it would be a lot of fun you might think that these mathematics i do not require but a lot of deep conceptual ideas deep geometrical vision lies hidden in this uh, stories and it's written beautifully and you would not realize that very subtly in the very beginning you have started talking about the infinitesimal you have already got into the mood of doing limits and doing derivatives and then much later you will go to the real calculus or the newton and leibniz so this is this is a wonderful book and i think must be in the library of every mathematics lovers thank you and i wish you a very good evening